as I was talking to my buddy Zeph, we were talking about basically engines and all that and led to transmissions and gearing and final drive. And apparently he's asking for a friend. So here. We talked about the importance of dyno to know the RPM and the graph on how what would work for the graph and his friend had the dyno sheet so we figured it out we were trying to see what's gonna work for it and of course even the d-series is not extended for it yes you guys got a dyno yep to see the power and you know what to do after so yep this video is gonna be really cool for you yeah <laughs> So Zef owns this awesome looking Domani Civic, it's really good, it's powered by a B20 VTEC and the manifold we did work on it, we ported it and that's why you can see there's an SRD sticker there, oh it's looking good. Yes, his friend runs a B16A they built and here you can see it's 193 wheel horsepower, that's super strong. So now of course we got M Factory, it's all giving us all the good options like for example gearing, even final drive, so yep. So the dynograph is here, it's really good, and they said they shifted around 95, 9500. So what I did was here, we extended here so you can see where the power is going. So 9500 RPM, we draw a line there, that's where the shift point is. So now I guess it's time we go to the M Factory gear calculator. Let's go, let's go. Here it is. Let's scroll down, wait, to go for the gear ratio calculator that's all the good stuff from m factory that's why you guys gotta check their website there's a lot of good stuff there that you might need so check it out right here this is not a sponsored video on that so here let me go to the calculator here wait up wait up here oh there all right so now let's get it because they're they're running a four seven type r transmission so this is a 47 and they're running a 23 inch tall tire so this is just about perfect as you can see it's 9500 rpm so you should the, the first gear is, has an extended 3.04 from m factory so the top speed on the first gear is 40 45 miles per hour and the carryover is 6600 onto the second gear and you finish it up with a 65 miles per hour so that's here so you carry it up at 6600 rpm that's where you, the second gear is it fixes it up it's almost perfect right so now here it's 6600 rpm it tops at around 65 miles per hour and then the fourth gear is going to carry all the way to 93 miles per hour so when you think about it it's actually really good right but if you change this to a 4-4 final drive remaining you know keeping everything the same including the gear ratios so now what happens is you finish off at the same 6-6 but if you look at it this is 45 miles per hour right this is the top speed is 49 miles per hour here so you're actually faster at the end of your first gear so when you put the second gear in it doesn't spin as much and because the vehicle speed is higher it's gonna feel lighter is gonna push it even more uh, or accelerate lighter and that will go through and through all the way to the next gear so this might actually work the rare moment the 4.4 final drive would work for a strong engine like this b16 because it's hefty on the mid-range and it's making good power so yep it's gonna be 102 when you finish third gear that's gonna be perfect for fourth gear so it's not gonna be like screaming loud because it's, you know, it's just whining RPM and not much power. It's gonna be using all the usable power, keyword usable. So that's gonna be good. So this is something that's worth a try for them. If they have the 4.4 final drive, they can switch it up and go to the race right away. Here's the graph once again. 
Look at that. That's a good engine right there. That's just a B16. Imagine that, right? And see, even on B series dyno, here it is. We've dyno this a long time ago. Yeah, it sounds really good. And here's the graph. As you can see, it's so easy to figure out if you need a third gear or a 4.7 or a 49 final drive. So you got a dyno. And if you guys remember this one, that's Joseph Stone of Honda Lab. Look at the graph. Look at this. Even after 9,500 RPM, the power is still not yet going down so this is gonna rev really good it, it, this could actually use the 47 better than the 44 and here we got the dyno of course on the dyno it's really advisable because you know you can actually instead of dyno tuning you can actually still do a base run that's pretty good and i say highly suggest that to the guys especially the d-series guys because someone asked me that and you know we need to base run the car and here's their page link will be in the description below and here you can see the dyno pro rate is here look the two wheel drive base run is three thousand pesos dyno tuning is six thousand per hour so you know someone asked me if he should go with a third gear or a final drive on his d series i couldn't answer i wouldn't give an answer because we don't know the dynograph he hasn't even dynoed, so it's better to dyno. Here they have the Mindanao branch where we often go to, but we've also been to the Sukkot Road branch. It's pretty good. Here we've been dynoing with Dyno Pro for years, and you can see here all the stuff that we did on the dyno with them. Even beyond or even earlier than 2018, we've already been dynoing with them. So this is pretty good. They're actually a really, really good facility with really friendly people and knowledgeable crew that straps the car really well. So yep, that's for you. And here we have several technical videos on the channel. So you can, you're free to explore all that, like all this good stuff here just for you. Yes, yes. And of course, for the hardcore that wants a little even more, there's a channel membership section. We have all the technical good stuff. It gets boring for the regular audience, but we have we have a bunch of videos there, including building engines and how to avoid spun rod bearing, even dyno tuning. So yes, we got a playlist, and of course, you can always click it here.